Hey, welcome back. So we've got an easy song for you to learn. The, the, the basics of the song is very easy, and it's in three little parts. The intro, uh, the lead part, and then the chorus. So the intro is like this. You're going to put your index finger on the second fret of the D string and the second fret of the B string, and you're going to hold all the others open, okay? So just leave them open, and, and you're going to use your spidey fingers to make sure that happens when you fret these two strings and play all of them but the low E string, okay? You can uh, mute it with your middle finger. I use my index finger on the second fret of the D and my, my middle finger on the second fret of the B. And that's how you're gonna strum that first chord. slide you're gonna keep your fingers just like they are keep them just like they are you're gonna slide them so this chord is the exact same chord you're playing but you're gonna move it up one fret to the third then to the fifth back down to the third and then back down to the second okay you don't move anything between the two you they stay moved up and down the neck might be hard you might end up hitting some strings don't get frustrated just keep at it uh keep keep your uh to help things along keep your wrist pushed outward a little bit to make sure that you're not hitting because you when you when you pull your your finger back let's get that out of the way when you pull your finger back you have more likelihood of hitting other strings put it forward a little bit and make sure there's that air and space in between just slide it up to third five three two three five three two done time around you, you don't use just one finger you're going to use three fingers to bend the string right so you're going to put your index finger and your middle finger right here on the fourth fret you're going to fret that b string right there on the fourth fret and then put your your ring finger on that fifth fret of the b string so now you've got your b string see all three fingers are, are fretting the b string and they're behind the ring finger and I'm going to use the muscle power from all three fingers to bend my string upwards. So the lead part is five, bend up a half a step on the third, the fifth fret of the B string. Then the sixth fret of the G string, you're going to bend it up. You can bend it down or you can bend it up. I, I bend it downwards. It's easier for me. I bend that one upwards, and I bend this one downwards. You can bend them both up. So it's five, six, eight. Eight on the B string. So it's... start singing and then when the chorus comes in that's when you got to play your f chord so that's a full chord right it is it can be tricky but here's here's the the secret sauce in this chord 
you're not you're not barring all of this. You're not. You're not. You're not barring this whole thing. So let's get that out of our heads, okay? What we're because you're like you gotta, you gotta play all these clean and then play these. Clean. You don't. It's actually I'm using the fat part of of my finger here to bar these two strings only on the first fret, high E and your B string. Bar them with this part of your finger, this higher, higher part, see, like that. Uh-huh, just like that, like right, right there. I'm using that part of my finger to bar these two. And then what I'm doing is using the rest of my finger to bar, to just to fret, just to fret this first string on the E string, this first fret on the E string. So I'm fretting the E string, that you need to fret just try that by itself just the index finger on the first fret of the e string and the lower part of your index finger barring those high strings b and e the other ones do not need to ring out now what you're going to do is you're going to put your ring finger on the third fret of the a string and you're going to do the same thing with your pinky on the d string second fret of the G string and then you've already got these last two barred now you've got a full F chord and it's clean this is how I'm holding it I'm not I'm pushing it not too far out it's medium way out because my hand my finger does need to be flat on these two so I'm pulling it back against these two strings then I'm pinching it with my, I'm basically doing a pinching feel to get this low E string threaded. You make a power chord, that's called a power chord. One here, two up, one string down. to the same first chord and if you want to you can go you so see you can move your middle finger up one part they go to the G part or well, you can play it like this it's easier to play with a I think it's easier to play barring it so you just move you, the same exact position up two frets and you play the same exact chord how to play the whole song uh there is a lead part and they play that over uh a combination of the chorus music and the intro music so first they play this behind it so they do two rounds of that and then it's back to And he plays lead up in the snare. These are the only. That's the, that's the uh, scale that he's playing in when he plays the lead. It's just these notes right here. One, two, three, four. play around with them you know you can uh
that's the whole song. So hopefully, uh, if you can just get that F chord down and squeeze it. If you have problems with the F chord, squeeze it and hold it for 10 seconds. So make, make sure you got a good, solid grasp. Like put your first finger there, your ring finger, pinky, middle finger, and then bar those bottom two. See, that's what I'm doing. I'm putting my index, ring, pinky, middle, and then look what I'm doing. Barring those other two. I'm, by pulling back, I'm keeping this attached like it's welded to that first fret, and then I pull my hand back with my arm, my elbow. I'm moving my elbow back, not just my wrist, my whole elbow. I'm pulling back on it. And that's where you get the strength to make that chord. You don't have to have it all in your hand. You pull back with your arm. Same thing with the G chord. And you can make an A chord like it. So, but that's where he plays it because he plays it diminished. So that's the lesson. I hope it helped. I hope you learned it. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. Uh, my intention is for these songs to be easy for you to learn as a beginner. And, you know, this song included some sliding of your fingers. It included some finger bends. Your fingers are going to be hurting after learning this a little bit. So you have to give your fingers time to build up calluses. And uh, uh, the pain does go away. The strength does come in the fingers. And can slide up and down the fretboard and it's not going to hurt but at first it, it might start getting sore give it a couple of weeks you'll be good if you play every day all right and i hope you do because you're an, you're a guitarist and you deserve to play every day because you love it and that's what you need to do and i hope you'll do it uh hope you'll subscribe too for more songs and we can learn together as we go along i'm glad you're here Keep on learning, keep playing, don't get discouraged. We all started and we're all on a journey. None of us has reached our, our end goal yet. Don't get discouraged, keep it up. You, get, you got this. So keep rocking, you have to. You're a guitarist now, you have to keep rocking. All of this, keep, keep doing it.